right. and then no one knee wrestles in my dojo. You know, because the knee versus knee, that doesn't exist. And a lot of dojos do that still. There is no knee wrestling in real life. It just never happens. So yeah. like the way to get advantage is to stand up. And if I stand up, you're going to stand up. Let's have a look at the time two judokas decided to knee wrestle. Karagaruma attempt, head-to-head, -head, knee wrestling like you'd see in a judo newaza session or in some BJJ school. Standing up does give the advantage. Shintaro was right. Udigarami opponent tries to go behind, but she sits back into guard. Jumps over, trying to land into an Osaikomi position, but gets rolled through. She's going to be called for Osaikomi, but is she going to get the submission? Yes, she does. She can also throw for Ippon from her knees. This low Ochigari's fairly popular these days amongst the Korean and Japanese women. I think this is the best of the Ippons I've seen attacking from this very low position. You can see her driving off her rear leg, totally caught her opponent unawares, pulling that sleeve down with both hands and driving forward with the head. Here's the most unusual low Ochigari I've seen. So Chishima Maida's sleeve hand was controlled. So she tries one Ochigari, then takes a belt grip and finishes with a second Ochigari. And we'll finish off this video with a bang. This was the first Wazaari from that match. Huge Sode Tsuri Komigoshi. Subscribing won't get you any more Niwaza, but you'll get some more Newaza in the future.